Sri Lanka has said it will not allow Chinese submarines to enter the Colombo port. The new government in Sri Lanka has also sought a review into the $5 billion loan from China for various infrastructural projects. Sri Lankan government said Finance Minister Ravi Karuna Naike will soon travel to Beijing for a review of the Chinese investment in the country. Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Mangala Samara Veera, who completed his two-day visit to China on Sunday, said his country was concerned over the terms of the loan agreed upon by the previous regime. President Maitri Palasiri Sena had, during the run-up to the election, promised a review into the infrastructure projects undertaken by Chinese state-run companies in Sri Lanka. Samara Veera, however, said his country welcomes investments from any country, including China. In fact, the problem is within our own country and within our own gov the previous government. So that is why we are very keen, as I said earlier, to ensure there's a rule-based investor climate where the Chinese investors and other climate investors from all over the world can uh, come and invest freely. And uh, as I keep saying, uh, all those investments will be selected on... on they are married. The Mahinda Rajapaksa government had favoured China over neighbouring India for a number of key infrastructure projects in the country. New Delhi had expressed security concern over the growing presence of Beijing in its southern coast. The docking of a Chinese submarine in Colombo last year had accelerated tensions between India and Sri Lanka. President Sri Sena, who assumed office in January, had expressed intention to have better ties with New Delhi. He had also chosen India for his first foreign visit last month. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is also set to visit the island nation next week.